Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, Trap, this is Queen here. Back here again with another general intuitive energy read. I um, don't know what's coming out, but we're going to see. Okay, hope everyone's having an amazing day. Um, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, morning, evening, night. All right, thanks for tapping in. All right, I really appreciate you guys. If no one told you they love you today, I love you today. So remember, don't take what resonates and to leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, simply let it fly. You know, on this channel, we keep it real because Spirit keeps it real with us. Okay, so we're going to tap in. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Hmm. What else is here? Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. We had a knight of cups, and then we had a knight of swords. So the energy I'm getting here, hmm. Somebody rejected an offer for good reason. Is what I'm getting here. If somebody was going to be burdened, either by whoever was in this knight of cups energy or this knight of swords energy, one of them was going wasn't going to be true about the love, and the other one was just going to come in and just be a straight out liar, you know, like a gaslighter. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. So you didn't waste your time on taking that opportunity. You didn't miss an opportunity. You know, whatever this offer was, it wasn't. Um, I don't know. Just the, with the seven of swords here, you wasn't gonna be able to see that this person was like like being very manipulative behind your back. Okay. So it's a good thing that you got away from this person. All right, because they were hiding something. I don't know what, but that's the energy I'm getting here with this. Like. You really dodged the bullet with this one. Whoever you are. I'm getting you had a choice between two masculines or this this two masculines or two feminine energies that, that has been wanting to hook up with you or something like that. So or one of them may be a past lover. One of them maybe one of them that's coming into your life. Or just, you know, recently you hooked up with this person. Hmm. Something you're going to find out about this person. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing that you're going to. You're going to turn them both down. Hey, there you are. You're going you're gonna to turn them both down. Somebody has two. two uh, love interests. Right, right now. That's what I'm picking up here. Like I said. I'm getting the energy that. One of them is not all about love. At all. I don't know what they're about. But they're not about love. Okay, I don't know. It's just like they just want to hear about everything about your life, but you can't know nothing about theirs. Like there's something about their life they want to keep hidden from you. They want to keep a secret. It's the energy I'm picking up here, and then um, that's the King of Cups in the reverse here, and then this 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 Knight of Cups is all about into their self, like narcissistic. You know, like uh, the energy I'm getting from them is like. You don't see the other side of them. They, they, you know, they're gonna um, have your third parties talk to people behind your back. You know, I'm trying to think of that one word. Um, I'll come back to it. But they all into themselves. You know, they're very narcissistic. Just thinking about they sell. Hmm. Talking to other people behind your back. So, yeah, like I said, somebody got two love interests here. And this is what they're about. Spirit about to let you know. So, what do we have here, Spirit? Let's see. Let's clarify. Let's clarify these. Clarify this, Spirit. Holy Spirit, this message for the collective, please, and thank you. choice between two or you have two people that you know is trying to get with you or two people that like you feel masculine something about them that you need to know that's what I'm hearing spirit say something about them that you need to know so what's your holy spirit Whew. 
Let's clarify for the collective. Clarify for the collective. Hmm. Yeah, so you'll be standing up for yourself in the situation, whatever it is. Ah. Uh, yeah. Somebody has an obsession here. Mm-hmm. Somebody you may take a leap of faith with, you know, you might decide to get into a relationship with this person, but they have hidden agendas here. Okay. Somebody here got two people liking them at the same time, or they pretend to like them, or whatever. Or they're going to be coming towards you if they haven't already. Okay. And you may take a chance on them, but they're in this uh, devil energy here. Okay. Like I said, they may have not communicated with you as of yet, or they may have. You guys may start talking already. You guys may even be in a commitment, but it hasn't been long term. Okay, it hasn't been long term. Hmm. Spirit is saying you're going to be glad you rejected that offer. Okay. Because this person is going to take you know, control over you somehow. Okay. They wanted to take your warrior spirit away from you. <laughs> is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Your warrior spirit against their demonic spirit. Is what I'm getting here. Mm-hmm. So they want to have you bound to them. They want control. There's a chain between these two two uh, lovers here. And so this was who's coming towards you. Okay, for some of y'all, they haven't came towards you yet. But Spirit is shining a light on the situation before it even gets started. Wow. This person wants to take your warrior spirit out of you. So what else is here? Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this energy that's trying to come towards my collective or that has somehow invaded my collective space. You might already be dealing with this uh, person. Hmm. So what's here? Okay. We are hanging out with the party crowd, drinking and smoking. Okay. So whoever this person is maybe hanging out with the party crowd, drinking and smoking. And hey, that might be something that's unacceptable to you, collective. Okay. So you might want to do a thorough background check on this person here. Okay. And actor trying to take center stage. Yeah, I told you they're trying to <laughs> This devil energy, who's ever this devil energy is trying to take the warrior spirit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, wow. I'm getting trying to cast a dark light over you somehow. They're trying to take center center stage. Okay. In this relationship or this uh yeah, commitment. Or this offer that somebody's trying to bring towards you. Okay. This is what they're about. Spirit's just, you know, letting you know. For some of you, it's all about phys physical, emotional intimacy. All right. But it'll be something that you would reject. You know, even if you tried it once, you, you wouldn't want to try it again. It's energy I'm getting here. Hmm. Somebody's going to come in and want you to think that, you know, you're the golden trophy of his or her life. Okay, but something they're going to do is going to be totally unacceptable to you is what I'm getting here. Because they're not being honest with you. They're seeing someone else. Wow. So whoever this is is coming towards you or that you're in a relationship with now. They're doing some unacceptable shit. Okay, they're hanging out and partying and drinking and smoking. All right. Wow, this is totally unacceptable. This is somebody that's just being, you know, just to want to play some sort of part in your life. They're, they're, they're not there. They want you to... You know, they want to gaslight you to make you think that you're that golden trophy in his or her life. Okay. Hmm. Observing this devil energy coming towards your way or that, that recently came your way. It hasn't been that long. This this karmic right here swears to have you or your person in separation. Hmm. 
and that's going to be kind of hard to do um, <laughs> from what I'm seeing here. There's, a th there's another another third party here. So who's ever coming towards you has somebody else uh, that they just separated from. Yeah, because they was involved with somebody else uh, physically, emotionally, and intimately. Here's what I'm getting here. They probably told them the same thing. This is the person that used the same fucking pickup line is what I'm getting here. They're just a fucking actor. All right. And they like hanging out and shit, drinking and smoking. This would be totally unacceptable to you. And this, this, this energy is trying to come your way, whoever this is. Okay. Let's get a few more. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, you just cut someone off just in time. You might have cut this person off just in time for some of y'all. Okay. Because there was a drama king or a drama queen that was coming to start some trouble. So what's here, Holy Spirit? What do you need the collective to be aware of about this karmic here? Or the person that's trying to come towards them? It's also a karmic. Or the person just recently hooked up with. That's also a karmic. There's yeah, something about the matter at hand. Something that's happening now. What's your Holy Spirit? Yeah, it came out again. The Spirit's trying to relay some type of message to you about this karmic that you're dealing with or the one that's coming towards you. Can't hey, make it up. They're out to destroy you. They're out to destroy you. They're just an actor trying to take center stage. Yeah, this would be unacceptable to you. They want to destroy you, destroy your reputation. They want to destroy you physically, emotionally, um, intimately. I mean, wow. This person is sick, but you, aren't, you ain't found out that they're sick yet. With some of y'all. Hmm. Because I, I can't help but remember our first kiss. Maybe they're telling you stuff like that. But this person is really just an actor. Like, they're telling you... <laughs> what they think you want to hear okay but what they have going on with them is totally unacceptable to you okay they may be telling you that you're the best thing that ever happened to them and shit like that okay somebody's person here is a um, homosexual here this may be the other karmic um, that once you separated from that person that they just recently got a separation with. Okay. Sure, they should have been grateful and kept it moving, but they coming back, you know. Wow, they coming back for more. Hmm. The person they used to be with, the karmic that your person used to be with is coming back for more. It's like they ain't had enough. This shit was un unsuccessful. I don't know what they're coming back for more for. They should be fed up. That's what Spirit said. Because they're still not going to be successful with them. Whoever they are. Whatever lifestyle they chose. It don't matter. <laughs> wow, this person gaslit the shit out of them. And they ain't planning on gaslighting the shit out of you. Collector is what I'm getting here. This karma should be fed up. But they want you in. in this person is separation. But I don't know. Somebody might be saying, be grateful, I'm a homosexual. Hmm. Well, somebody, this, this karmic is out. This, this karmic ex is out to destroy somebody. Mm -hmm. What other messages do you have? They're coming. They're going to be arriving somewhere around you. Yeah, they're thinking about you. Whoever this person is. Oh, this karmic might be coming to tell you something about this person. The reason why they want you to separation. Because they might be worried about you going through some type of physical or emotional or intimate abuse here. That's what I'm getting here. They may be coming with a message. They just ain't got to you yet. But they coming. Hmm. Now they got here and they got food by this devil. They don't want you to get food by the devil too. Yeah. Because they know this person's thinking about coming towards you. They, they may not even know who you are, but they know that they person, their ex is going towards somebody else. They may be worrying about you. Hmm. Maybe you're going to find out this person's a homosexual that you're dealing with. I mean, it is what it is. But somebody's out to destroy somebody here. Maybe they're coming to warn you that this person's a 
coming towards you to destroy you like they destroyed them in their lives. Had them in physical, emotional uh, trauma here. Hmm. What else is here? Yeah, they got some new dance with you collected. Yeah. The spirit said you shouldn't you shouldn't deal with this person, whoever this is, that's coming towards you. Just tell them how you really feel. If you don't want to deal with them emotionally, physically, or emotionally, uh, let them know that, that you ain't down with no bullshit. Yeah. You're confused as an individual if you come at them like that. And you'll see, you'll see that, you know, if they're just being a representative or if they're being true or not. Because uh, you're going to make it hard for them to figure you out. Maybe they maybe they going to feel like they Maybe they going to feel it. Because <laughs> they, 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 they shouldn't come towards you with no bullshit now. That's what I'm getting here. There ain't nothing no fucking surprises. You put this person on a probation, pro probationary period. Okay. For some of y'all, y'all going to find out this person is a pervert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some things don't need words. You just go see it in this person and, and know that you shouldn't fuck with this person, okay? That's coming towards you. I'm hearing you say, take a hike. <laughs> take a hike. Uh, not a walk, but take a hike, you know? Because you might not, you know, know this person coming towards you is a pervert, okay? I don't know. They may be coming towards you because you have children and, and you're, you're, you're uh, see, they go there, take a walk. You may have children and, and their father may not be around and this person could be um, a pervert. And you know, you could pick up some, some weird sex vibes going on with this person here is what I'm getting here. Okay. So that's why the Spirit said you shouldn't. And if you're thinking about it, if you get into it, put this person on a probationary period. But you know, I wouldn't let them like, you know, just come walk, walk right into my house or whatever. Live with me. Spirit said, be, be patient. Be patient and wait. And trust God, you know. Yeah, put this person on a relationship probation. Shit. See what they're really about. Hmm. I don't know what I did wrong. When you tell them that, you know, hey, I'm just going to, like, see how it works out for a couple months, you know. I don't know. I'm getting one to six months. See, we'll see what they're really about. Just trust God. Because wherever you are, if you have children... I mean, this pervert coming around, you could be putting yourself at risk of children's services or CPS getting involved or something. If this pervert was a message of children, just know that your children need you, whoever you are. What else is here, Spirit? This person just could be just a sick person coming towards you. They could be sick. You know, they could have some, some type of um, sexually transmitted disease or something, you know. This person could be wanted by the uh, authorities too, as well. Some of y'all haven't been exercising. Spirit said you need to get out and exercise more. Get out of nature. What else is here, Spirit? Some of y'all need to take your time with the person that's coming towards y'all. Take your time. Be patient, Spirit said. Be patient. What else would you like to reveal? Because I like to call the Spirit, please and thank you. Take your time with this person that's coming towards you. Or this person you just recently got in a relationship with. Hmm. Yeah, I might share space but not words. That's because this person uh, is coming towards you for the wrong reasons. Okay. They may be coming to, to look at your, your daughter or your son or one of your other relatives. I don't know. They may just come because they need some somewhere to stay. But they, re they really don't have no emotional ties for you but somebody around you but they want you to think that they're thinking about you hmm that's why spirit keeps, keeps saying be patient spirit is calling kind of somebody to be patient with a relationship before they get you know go all the way in with somebody you know what I'm saying wow yeah this person could be full of surprises somebody here if you got children you know, 
Put your children first, okay, before your person. I don't care if you're masculine or feminine, all right? Especially if you're taking care of your children, they live with you, okay? Because whoever this karmic is that's coming towards you or just recently came towards you, they never liked you. They like somebody around you. They could be a pervert. I'm picking up pervert vibes here. Somebody just want to get around, some, get with somebody, and they never, they don't like them. They're not physically or emotionally attracted to uh, this person. They're attracted to somebody that's around this person, and they're trying to get to them. This is a pervert. Okay. Wow. I'm telling you, somebody's children need them. Somebody need to hear this message. Hey, sure, if it ain't you. Okay. Wow. This person could be sick. Don't trust this person. Trust God. Do not trust this person. Trust God. Put them on some type of probation period or something like that. Hmm. You be grateful that you did, Spirit said. Here we go again. Because this person don't like you at all. They don't like you. They're pretending. They're gaslighting. And their person, their ex, is going to try to warn you some type of way. But communicate to you. They plan on uh, telling you not to take the offer with this person. Okay. Oh, maybe because they've been cheating with the the past lover all along. Shit. They holding the grudge against the person that's coming towards you or the person that just got with you. Okay. Wow. And like I said, this person is pretending to be your friend to, to get info. There's somebody pretending to be your friend to get information too around you. Okay. But somebody been cheating with them all along. Whoever this friend. Whoever been pretending to be your friend. That's why the Spirit is saying, be patient and you'll come out victorious, okay? Wow. Mm-mm-mm. There's something that's happened in the, in, the, in the present. You can be to cut somebody off just in time. And Spirit said, be grateful that you did. If you, oh, well, I cut straight to it. This person's a pervert. Okay, this person's a pervert. Y'all not going to agree on a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. If you find out that uh, this person been sleeping with somebody around you, somebody you know, somebody that could possibly be pretending to be your friend, they're going to say they don't remember sleeping with them. Spirit is saying, none of these is your battles. Okay? None of these is your battles. What this person is trying to send you through. Yeah, none of these are your battles, okay? Especially when it comes to, to this competition this person is trying to put you in. Because they do have a karmic that swears they're going to separate you and this person. Well, somebody's coming to warn somebody about this person anyway. Okay. Wow. And how they did them in the past. They didn't like them either. They did them wrong too. And they're coming to do you <laughs> the same way they did them. Mm-hmm. I'm getting that. Whatever this energy is, uh, it's not physically or emotionally attached to you. Or they don't even want to get intimate with you. It's somebody around you that they want to get intimate with. This fucking pervert. Fuck. What else is here? Yeah, they, they never liked you. But you don't know that. Not they what they come there for. This devil energy here. What else, Spirit? You have any more messages for the collective? Please and thank you. Okay. Spirit said blessings are rolling in for you. Whoever you are collective. Whoever this person is is desperate. Okay, they're desperate to get this communication to you about this pervert that's trying to come your way or uh, something about this person that's not right. They're in devil energy here. They're pretending. You got a friend that's pretending too as well. It's more than one karmic here. There's one karmic that's coming towards you. Maybe two. One of them is coming with a, just to manipulate I'm getting at that. That's the pervert. One of them is coming in acting like they love you. But there's just somebody around you they want to get next to. Okay. Could be your friend. Could be one of your family members. Okay. Yeah, somebody mess coming in and mess with somebody's uh, one of their children. Because your children need you kept coming out. So it could be one of your children or, you know, somebody that's close to you, a friend or whatever. They promise not to tell. Yeah. If this has already happened, if you already got with this person, okay, 
Hey, the other day, was hoping he wouldn't find out. This is a desperate motherfucker right here. This motherfucker's desperate. Okay. They don't want you to. Uh, they don't want to show that they feel insecure. That's why they do dumb shit like that. Mm-hmm. They was told to keep their mouth shut. Okay, because this karma snake is uh causing conflict. Somebody lied on you to others. Okay. I told y'all this could be one of y'all family members or one of y'all relatives. Okay, we told you know like, don't tell that we've been you know getting intimate. You know, not to tell you. But they, they may be acting like, like if they worried about you or something like that. But you may find out about this fucking competition with this family member, this relative, or something like that. Okay, but somebody saw everything. Or somebody gonna see everything. But see, you're too powerful. You drive evil spirits away, and that's what that that devil energy is. Evil spirits, whoever you are, you're too powerful. You drive evil spirits away. All right. So just be careful of uh, these two. Um, people that think that they could come and try to get with you or be with you or just recently got with you if you have children you know watch out for your children talk to your children whatever these family members yeah they, they promised another tell this 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 friend then lied on you about something okay wow but when this person come towards you just stand stand your ground use your discernment your intuition you know what I'm saying they thinking about doing some shit but you tell them how you really feel okay at whatever situation is at hand, you tell them how you really feel. Don't bite your fucking tongue. I mean, be up front and stand on what you say. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And stand on that shit. Okay, because shit. They ain't getting away with it. Be grateful that you did. Stand on, you know, stand in your power against this uh, devil energy here. Don't let them get away with nothing. But trying to put you in competition, be it with, you know, if it's a pervert coming in and trying to be around your children, and that's their fucking intention. You know what I'm saying? They going down for that shit. If this is a karmic fucking snake ass motherfucking nigger or bitch, they, yeah, they don't give, they get coming to them too. Okay? If this is your uh, friend, karmic ass friend, that's wanting to sleep with your person, they gonna give what they got coming to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why well, they promise not to tell they fucking your person behind the scenes and shit here. Be grateful that you let this motherfucking karmic go. That's what I'm saying. You drive evil spirits away whoever you are. Okay? Wow. You're going to cut this person off just in time. This fucking karmic, okay? Yeah. If this other karmic did want you and your person to separate you, be grateful that that motherfucker gone. Because they damn sure won't worry about you. Or how you feel. Emotionally, physically, or, or otherwise. They wasn't. They was thinking about going on to the next person to see, carry this devil energy on to the next person. Yeah, but somebody saw everything, okay? Somebody saw everything. Somebody's coming to tell you something, too. They ain't got to you yet, but they'll be there to tell you. All right? Till next time. Namaste for now.